welcome back to another stellar episode of Curious Kids. I'm your host, Cecilia payne Poshkin. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered where stars come from and what happens to them over time? Today, we're going to explore the incredible life cycle of a star, from its birth in a nebula to its spectacular end as a supernova. Let's blast off into the cosmos and discover the amazing journey of a star. Chapter 1. The Birth of a Star. Nebula. Stars are born in giant clouds of gas and dust called nebulas. These clouds are made mostly of hydrogen, the building block of stars. Over time, gravity pulls the gas and dust together, and as it clumps up, it gets hotter and denser. Eventually, the pressure and heat in the centre becomes so intense that nuclear fusion begins, and a new star is born. This early stage is called a protostar, and it's the first step in the life of a star. The star begins to shine, and it continues to grow as it collects more material from the nebula. Chapter 2 The Main Sequence The Star's Stable Life after a star is born, it enters the longest phase of its life, called the main sequence. During this time, the star burns hydrogen in its core, producing light and heat. Our sun is a main sequence star, and it's been shining for about 4.6 billion years. A star can spend billions of years in the main sequence, depending on its size. Larger stars burn through their fuel faster, while smaller stars like red dwarfs can last much longer. But eventually, a star runs out of hydrogen, and that's when things start to change. Chapter 3. The Red Giant Phase. The star expands. When a star runs out of hydrogen in its core, it begins to burn helium instead. This causes the star to expand into a red giant, a much larger and cooler star. The outer layers of the star swell up and the core continues to shrink and heat up. In this phase, the star can grow to hundreds of times its original size. Our sun will become a red giant in about five billion years, eventually engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. But don't worry, it won't happen for a long, long time. Chapter 4. The Death of a Star. Supernova or White Dwarf. Eventually, the star can no longer sustain fusion, and it reaches the end of its life. What happens next depends on the size of the star. For smaller stars like our Sun, the outer layers are shed, leaving behind a dense core called a White Dwarf. But for much larger stars, the end is much more dramatic. These stars explode in a supernova, one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. The explosion sends elements like iron and carbon into space, where they can eventually form new stars and planets. The life cycle of a star is a spectacular journey that begins in a nebula and can end in a brilliant supernova. Stars create the elements that make up everything around us, including the Earth and even our own bodies. So, today, we learned about the birth of a star in a nebula, the main sequence where stars spend most of their lives, the red giant phase when they expand, and the explosive end that can result in a white dwarf or a supernova. Stars truly are the building blocks of the universe. And now, for a shining joke before we go, why don't stars ever gossip? Because they like to keep things light. Thanks for watching, Curious Kids. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more cosmic science adventures. Stay curious and keep exploring. See you next time. Wait, stop right there. 
Before you go, we need you to do something really important. If you love learning about amazing science topics like the life cycle of stars, then you absolutely don't want to miss out on what's coming next. By subscribing to our channel, you'll get access to smart and fascinating content posted every day. From exploring the mysteries of space to diving into the depths of the ocean, we've got it all covered. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll never miss an episode. Join our curious crew and be the first to explore the coolest science adventures. Trust us, you won't want to miss out on what's coming next. All right, now that you're officially part of the Curious Kids team, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next adventure. Thank you.